still a feeling that you love to hate Don't hesitate to put in work just to get this paid And all this talk about food, I guess I need a plate But once the trap house boom, I guess I flip a state To get this rape, money violent like a misery rape Half a brick a day, my fire work like Independence Day Spark a split for hate, niggas learn from that chink shit Now my shooters move around, we moving brinks with I'm from the school of the hard knocks, from a hard block. I need a beat with a hard knock, flipping hard rock. Need a coupe with a hard top or a hard drop. Pull it out, they be all shot. Watch the jaw drop. My nigga crazy, but we optimistic. Cause I remember days I didn't have about the pissing. Somebody tell these pussy niggas I'm the best that did it. Your boy Dag fire plane, that's the best description. Motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yo, one more time, one more time for the town champ. <clears throat> I say, yeah, what's poppin'? Y'all already know the vibes. It is I, the toughest of all things, tough, tough, you know. Please make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe before we get into the content. Please throw me up in that algorithm if you can. If not, you're not using your common sense, you already know the vibes. Kels, is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. that's stupid. Use your common sense. All right, use your common sense and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the content. So listen, man, I know if y'all have Facebook, definitely. Y'all have been seeing this picture floating around. I didn't know what this picture was. I just thought they, like, you know, how girls be going crazy over Michael B. Jordan. I just thought they was just on some, uh, you know what I'm saying, just going crazy over the guy. You know what I'm saying? But there's a big story behind this photo all right and this story is the dream of a lot of men out here uh some guys that haven't reached their full potential they this may be a dream of theirs all right so shorty in the yellow with the yellow hair with the yellow wig weave whatever that's called as a matter of fact champ all right shorty said michael b jordan was a lame a cornball she said she went to school with him as a matter of fact, this is what she said, champ. It's right here, champ. And then I'm going to play the video. I need to give you all the backstory before the video, right? She says, you know what's crazy? I went to school with Michael B. Jordan at a point in life. We went to Chad Science together in Newark. And to be honest with you, we teased him all the time because his name was Michael Jordan. And let's be honest. He was no Michael Jordan, she said. And he also would come to school with a headshot. We lived in Newark. That's the hood. We would make fun of him like, what are you going to do with your stupid headshot? And look at him now, all right? She called him corny. She tried to say he was the butt of all the jokes. Well, now let's see. This footage, yeah, I'm not going to hold you. Rotted. Jordan, the director mm -hmm. and the star of Creed 3. And, you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? For the corny kid, right? For the corny kid, right? For the corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. No, you did not hear me say I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. How was the difference between you actually directing and working with the same people that you were directed with versus? Uh, it, it, was, it was awesome. You know, it's a family vibe. Yeah. Last nine, nine years of my life. Um, I spent on the Creed films. Uh, they're very supportive. You know, Tessa, uh, Felicia, Rashad, Wood Harris, people that see me grow up. And uh, for the fact that they, I stepped behind the camera and finally got a chance to direct them, they, they, they loved it. They embraced it. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. And was it difficult for you mentally because you're coming out of a different space? I didn't know, I didn't know what he was doing. I, had better I mean, I was staying in it. This is about show. This ain't about Isn't this the sexiest man uh, right show here. off right here? Yeah. Who's the sexiest man? Because now let's. What kind who's of question the is sexiest that? man? Because I thought you said you're on the way up. The one right now. This is the one. This is the one right here. Uh -oh. yeah, yeah. See, so is it a tie? I know tie. We don't, not, we don't compete. Not a tie. Yeah, it's we don't tie. compete. Two number ones. Technically. Batman and Batman. Or should I? Oh, no. Can't say that. Superman and Superman. Superman and Superman. Sorry. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro.
<laughs> okay, so you also are going to do a new film with Will Smith very soon coming up. Is the rumor out there? Not sure. We're still working on the script. You know, that's something that I plan on doing in the future. Not sure when, you know, with these movies. I'm just trying to get through this project. Right, you know, so right, I get right. When I get finished with this one, then I'll figure out what's going on next. And how is it filming in Atlanta? It was amazing. Uh, I've done four or five films down here, shot a couple of television shows. So Atlanta's a second home to me, and I, I love coming down here. Favorite restaurant here? Oh, uh, man. Uh, whatever hotel I'm in, their restaurant. <laughs> well, you're not corny anymore. <laughs>
I still remember. Do you remember? I'm going to make you remember. You're going to never forget this moment one day in your life. And this is for all y'all people that's still in school. Be easy. All right. I know it's a fun hoot. I know y'all having a hoot nanny and a good rocking old time, making fun of people and all that. Uh, that's in school. But let me tell you, y'all got a good 20 more years after school, son, when you're going to see a lot of people moving into what they're really going to be in life. And you don't want to look like shorty right here. All right. You don't want to look like shorty right here on the left with the zebra print shirt with the Asavenya Lion King top champ. I'm not going to hold you. Shorty got the Asavenya popping off, all right? Yeah, I don't want to be in this situation. So just be easy. Everybody need to be humble because you never know. You might be sitting next to the, I mean, you might be sitting next to the next Michael B. Jordan. All right? Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe if you have watched this content and you have not hit that like button or subscribe. I believe that you are not using your common sense. You need to use your common sense. Use your whole brain. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let's go, Kels. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. It's the town versus everybody. I repeat, it's the town versus everybody. Only at wearetough.com. Get it now. The new The Town versus Everybody hoodies is out now. Rep the town in the best fashion possible. Only at wearetough.com, nigga. Rep the town, champs. Rep the town. We here. You know where we from. You know what we rep. Stop playing.